Okay, so we're talking about the Ultimate Direction All Mountain Pack. This is quite an interesting pack with a lot of pros and a few cons. As small as this thing looks, it's actually a 30 liter pack. So it's quite capable in terms of what you can carry and it weighs 20.8 ounces. This pack's a little bit more durable than their Fast Pack series of packs and a little bit more meant for mountaineering. They send it with some different attachments a way for you to mount skis on the pack, uh, some webbing for the front here so you can put you know, some gear or maybe a pair of crampons or something like that. It does have some interesting ice axe attachments on the pack, which I actually am a huge fan of. They are basically these little magnetic buckles. So there are some magnetic buckles here for the ice axe attachment and uh, you can kind of see they just pop open and it'll basically find itself. But um, there's these little plastic catches here that will go into those holes there with a magnet. And um, I've never had a problem with it. It's actually a super reliable system. Plus it does have uh, some Velcro here for the shaft of the ice axe, as you can see, on both sides. So pretty ca uh, capable pack in terms of what you can carry on it. I typically carry two tools on this pack uh, with crampons in the middle with some sort of a lashing system. So on the top here, the pack has a typical brain that you're kind of used to seeing um, with a s waterproof zipper. Small, but just enough for you know some snacks, maybe some sunglasses, whatever you need. Uh, it also has an access point on the back, which is one of my favorite parts of the pack. Um, I recommend if you're carrying crampons on the front of this pack that this be the sole way that you enter the backpack. I'll explain why in a second. But really a huge area for you to store all your gear. Um, I have ran it with a bladder because there is a sleeve back here. So there's a one and a half liter bladder back there. It does not come with that. It also come, does not come with water bottles. So to get into the main compartment from the top of the pack, you have your typical clasp here. Pops open, then you have a, a cinch cord that you can just pull open and that works really easily. Now, my complaint with the pack and how I remedied this was if you are using the webbing system that the pack comes with to mount crampons to the outside of the pack, you're going to be covering the lashing point for the clasp for this top compartment here. It's going to be extremely difficult to get to this once you have crampons covering this section of the pack. And so one of my main complaints with this pack is that poor design of their lashing system. You basically can't get into the top of the pack. You need to pry your crampons off the pack to access this. It's difficult with gloves on. You need to shove your hand underneath your crampons and try to get to this lashing point. Um, so I've taken the webbing off and I've switched to these. This is just a C to Summit strap and it's way better. You can decide where on the pack you want to lash your crampons to so you can still access this lashing point right here and way more reliable. Um, the other thing that I found difficult with the factory lashing system is that there are cords running all over the place and it's just difficult to get your crampons off the pack when you have gloves on. Um, it's just kind of a pain and a nuisance and this is much easier. You just pull on this elastic strap and you're good to go. I've used this kind of strap, different brands, for years and I've never had a problem, never had a crampon come off, come off a pack. It's a super reliable system. Uh, thankfully there are tons of lashing points on this pack for you to use so no problems there. On the straps, each side is different. On this side, you've got a zipper pocket, which I actually use for my GPS. It seems to work really well for that. I'll pop my GPS in there, and zip it up, and leave the antenna out, barely. And I've never had any problems with that. Uh, on the other side, I'll typically put like a GoPro and um, stuff like that. You could put a bottle, like a soft flask, in this one. It doesn't work very well in this one with the zipper. It tends to pop out. What I did to remedy that was I, I actually took some of this cord and 
uh, put it along here with a little cinch on it, as you can see, to cinch the straw that comes off of the soft flask. Now, it's not ideal, but it works. If you're gonna be running, it may pop out, and this pack's really only designed to have one soft flask in the front. I never really use soft flasks with this pack because I use this for mountaineering and my soft flasks would freeze. Um, it actually has two chest straps, one here and one here, and then the, your typical hip belt. Um, one of these chest straps ends up being pretty high, and a lot of times I forego that chest strap. Um, I just don't necessarily think it's necessary. Another small complaint, and it's not that big of a deal, it has these lashing points on the side for basically you could create your own compression straps if you wanted to. This last weekend I had snowshoes on this pack and so I had no way to attach them. I actually bought some compression straps and added them to the pack and it seemed to work well. It would be nice if there was an option that came with the pack for you to just add those from, from Ultimate Direction since they have the lashing points here. They might as well give you a system that you can put on. I will say this pack, if you plan on running with it, uh, if it's not basically full, it's gonna be pretty uncomfortable. Um, it's gonna move around a lot. Once the pack is full, it doesn't really move around and I've had success running with it. I'll put it on and I'll show you. So here's the top chest strap. Way up here. There's another reason why I'm putting the pack on. A lot of people have a tendency to get on these chest straps and pull them super tight. You know, if especially if they're used to a typical running vest. Get these nice and tight so the pack's not gonna bounce around a bunch. If you're not running, I would dress this pack more like a typical climbing pack where, you, where you're cinching up the hip belt a lot and then these chest straps are basically just to keep the, shoulder, keep the backpack straps from moving. The reason why is because you're gonna be capable of carrying quite a bit of weight in this since it's a 30 liter pack. If you tighten these chest straps a lot to make sure that the pack's not gonna move at all, you're gonna bruise your collarbone here. And it gets pretty painful after a while, and I'm just, it's just a tip. If you're not running with this pack, I would get some, I would take some tension off of these chest straps and rely on the hip belt to keep the pack in place and comfortable and keep the weight on your hips instead of tightening these down. You will bruise your collarbones unless you can get these straps resting right outside your collarbones, which you can as long as you're not cinching these chest straps too tight. I want to show you the lashing system for the ice axe because I really like it. Okay, typically I use this pack with two tools. So it's really a good design. You can pop these magnetic buckles open. Here you have a place for your pick to slide through like so and then attach it there then you have your velcro as such now let's say instead of a tool you're just going to use a walking axe there's basically how it works and it's really a secure way of attaching your tools and then you can take crampons this is the aftermarket lashing system just so you know this is definitely what I recommend so you can you can take a lashing point, feed this strap through, feed it through the other side. All right, just as such. Grab your crampons, put it on here. Make sure that you're lashing them towards the middle. That's pretty much how I rock this pack. 
everything is really confined. Um, and then you can still access the lashing point a lot easier than if you would have had your entire um, webbing system lashed up here. And I'm sure I have some photos of when I ran that pack like that because I did run it like that several times before I switched to this aftermarket system. Um, you could also lower the crampons a little bit to make it even easier. So I'm gonna put some stuff in here and kind of show you guys. So let's say you're bringing in an Nalgene. I'm gonna use this to represent a Nalgene. All right, so we're gonna need our soft shell, which typically I'd be wearing, but we're gonna stash it for now. We're gonna need our lightweight down. Typically I run an ultralight kit when I'm running this pack. So this is the Rad k -On for reference. It's super light, vents really well too. And then we're also gonna need our waterproof layer just in case. Let's throw that in here. All right, now we're gonna need our food. This does have some food in it and this is usually how I carry my food so it doesn't get lost. It, you know, like bars and stuff won't be all over the place in the compartment. I can act, stash it, and I usually stash it towards the top here, so it's easy to access for breaks. And if you're a smart person, you're gonna have a first aid kit. All right, so there we go. Let's close this pack. All right, so now, we still have this top compartment here to work with. So here, we're gonna throw our glacier glasses in here. All right, and we're also gonna throw our sunscreen in here. Okay, and might as well, let's say we're gonna bring a water filter too. Okay, let's zip that up. All right, like I said, I like to carry the GPS in the front here, it's super secure. Boom, like that. All right, like I said, I like to carry a GoPro in this pocket. Uh, this is a GoPro 10, this thing's a beast. It's way better than the GoPro 9. It's just incredible what they've done. So there's my GoPro, and sometimes I will also slide my phone down in here. Make sure that it slides behind the GoPro so it's secure. And you've got some webbing here that you can secure that nicely. Um, so that's a pretty good representation of how I would carry this pack and let's pretend that you're going into the snow and you don't have water access well I don't necessarily recommend carrying a huge reactor uh, MSR reactor which is my go-to stove for mountaineering if you're gonna be using this pack I would be carrying something small like an MSR pocket rocket or like a BRS stove it's not as good for boiling water but they'll still work you might have to make a little uh, wind shelter around it but you're gonna get the job done. So I'm gonna throw this on. Don't forget, I also have my bladder in here. So, I fully intend on using this pack, um, even with its shortcomings, because I've remedied them on Glacier Peak this year as a car to car long day, and Mount Olympus as well um, as a single day climb. Glacier Peak is roughly 36 miles with 9,000 feet of gain. I think Olympus is in the 40s, 40 miles or so. So this is pretty much how it carries. I'll show you the back. Um, for reference, this is the smallest size that they offer and uh, I am six foot tall and right now I'm about 155 pounds. I started at 170 a couple months ago, but I've been cutting because I'm, we're running the Wonderland in July. So you can check it out. Let's say I'm going to run, so I'm going to tighten this bad boy up a little bit. A little bit of movement, but it's not bad for what this pack allows you to carry. Uh, this is the ultimate direction all mountain pack. I wanted to say one more thing. I've carried 60 meters of eight millimeter rope with this pack and been super comfortable. No concerns, no worries at all. I'll throw that in the video as well. This pack's gonna go really well for us this year because we're running the Edelrid six millimeter cord on the Glacier, Edelrid's guide harness, which is super light, 
and some new offerings from Edel Rid, like some of their lighter crampons and stuff, just trying to save some weight so that we can move faster in the mountains. The faster you move, the sooner you're going to get out of there and the safer you can be. Thanks for watching. <laughs>